This video offers a specific example of assessment for learning in an intermediate math class. Here are a series of teacher actions that apply the cycle of assessment for learning to any grade or subject area. Teachers analyze gaps in student understanding using diagnostic tools. They adapt instructional strategies such as reteaching, regrouping, and retesting to address those gaps. Using student conversations or other assessment tools, teachers assess the effectiveness of the instructional strategies and readjust their plan. Reflection occurs throughout the cycle. A specific example from math is multiplying mixed fractions. At the most appropriate time in the instructional cycle, teachers co-construct the learning goals and success criteria with their students. The timing will depend on the nature of the lesson or instruction. In order to look for gaps in student understanding and to scaffold the learning process, the teacher might use a four corners strategy to determine whether students can identify equivalent fractions. Students have to choose the corner that matches the fraction they have been given. Upon completion of the four corners activity, the teacher discovers a small group of students are having difficulty identifying and understanding equivalent fractions. Here, the teacher might consider options that address the gap in understanding. For this small group of students, the teacher might employ targeted instruction strategies, such as using manipulatives, providing anchor charts, or think-alouds. The rest of the class can be given an independent activity while the teacher works with the small group. While working with the small group, the teacher's reflection determines if there is a need to continue with more targeted instructional strategies. The teacher might employ the conference structure to determine if these students have achieved an understanding of equivalent fractions. An exit ticket can be used with the class to determine if all students have achieved the success criteria. Having achieved an understanding of equivalent fractions, another cycle is required to see if the class can convert mixed numbers into improper fractions. Teachers are encouraged to look for additional resources and supports to help those students who continue to have gaps in understanding. Resources are continually developed and updated and can be found at ae.misalondon.ca.